Now, in the book, I know you utilize as a tool so some of these bands. Can you talk oh, yeah. more about that? How do you apply it? How yeah. do you, how do you all, and I'm kind of asking you two questions at once that may, maybe you'll combine the two. How do you also work on pliability within that? Is that just part of the movement? Is, do, do you do other things to improve the pliability aspect so the tissue quality is, is healthier when you're doing the movement? How does that look? Yeah. Well, so our bodies are essentially like 640 aqueous pockets, you know, that were like these fluid, mm -hmm. slippery, slidey pockets, you know, 640 is the number of muscles. It, it depends on the person. Yeah. And depending upon your movement patterns, they can start to get gunked up and stuck and dehydrated in certain positions. Once you get gunked up and stuck like a dam, that dam builds up more and more and more and gets crummier and dingier and darker. It's a similar thing in your physical body. If there's nooks and crannies inside of your body, which I guarantee you there are, there are in mine, you know, as well, I'm working on it. Um, they will become backed up and something that you can do, like I mentioned, just spending some time, you know, on the ground, that's a helpful, helpful starting point. Uh, but resistance bands are a very powerful tool as well. You know, so the align band that you're referring to is a, uh, it's a heavy duty resistance band that has a door anchor and you can attach that to any, you know, car door or hotel door or closet door or what have you. And then you have a resistance band hanging down that you can use to literally like floss out different joints. So that shoulder that's rolled forward, a really powerful tool, it's called banded, banded distraction in physical therapy terms. You can press that band, wrap it around the front of the shoulder, and then step yourself away from the band. And then it will start to pull that shoulder back. Now you're creating this opening expand, expansion uh, through the shoulder. And then you can reach the hand back behind you and turn the head off to the left. And you're doing this little pin and stretch, myofascial release, banded distraction to just do like a, like a word sandwich of all the different things that are happening there um, with a really simple, cost-effective, uh, portable tool. And as you do that, once you start to create a little movement in and around those potentially bound together pockets, new hydration manifests in that space. And now you have a healthier joint. If you have a healthier joint in anywhere in your body that trickles through the rest of the system. So now my shoulders moving better. Oh, cool. Now all of a sudden I have a little bit more rotation through my spine because I'm not bound up like a straight jacket. You know, so it's a, you know, anth uh, Andrew Taylor studies a quote said that that harmony dwells where obstructions do not exist. And so if we can go through and find those damned up, agglomerated, dehydrated obstructions through our body, speak into them in the form of you know, myofascial release in this in this example, but there's other ways to do it beyond that. Um, then eventually we start to find more freaking harmony in our body. Excellent. Very good. I, I was first introduced to the bands by Kelly Starrett in his book, The mm. Supple Leopard. He kind of introduced that kind of concept to me. And then I saw he wrote the Ford on your book. So that's quite interesting. Was he yeah. an inspiration at all for some of the band work or anything else in what you do? Oh, yeah, man. Kelly's been a huge inspiration. I mean, he was the first. So I was my, the roof of my perspective of what I could create from like a like a uh, lens of a career was having a successful clinic in anywhere this is bend oregon where i where i did and before that was boulder colorado um you know so seeing you know for me because I, I spend like some pretty meaningful time with people it's like an hour and a half of being with people um seeing 20 people a week and having a couple people working with me in one space that was like oh the dream and then i got into watching kelly's work about maybe five and a half six years ago and um started observing the power of replicating what I'm doing at an individual level with, you know, more people on YouTube, you know? And so I essentially just like worshiped everything he was saying and uh, just really studied it very intently. And then from there, I started creating my own stuff. And then, you know, six years later, it's very fascinating to have him write a really flattering forward in the book and then have him even read it in the audible version. So it's a very fascinating experience to kind of come full circle and have like mother flipping Kelly is like, you know, saying how Aaron's a nice guy or whatever in the, in the, in the forward. Now it's, it's a very fascinating experience to have that full circle moment. But yeah, I mean, the align method is a continuation of Kelly's work. It's a continuation of Katie Bowman's work. Mm -hmm. um, it's a continuation of 
Andrew Still, osteopathy. It's a continuation oh, yeah, of yeah. dead dead philosophers. It's a, you know, it's I not I ain't create anything. You know, I've I'm I've been an aggregator. You know, that's what that's what being right. a podcast hit podcast podcast host is is yeah being mm -hmm. able to aggregate a bunch of really amazing Pulling ideas in, into one spot. You know, right. so the book is a further aggregation of all that stuff mixed in with a little bit of my own actual practice. Exactly. And you're probably highlighting things and emphasizing things, maybe taking and, and riffing on certain things that resonate more than others. Yeah, that's, that's powerful. And so interesting. So you incorporated some of the band work you gave a company, you gave an example of some of the shoulder stuff, which is really mm -hmm. interesting. You're kind of doing like almost a self myofascial release on that. Yep. Yeah, I like the term flossing that joint. That's a really interesting term. Yeah. How else can that be utilized? Band? Oh man. Yeah. Outside thing. of outside of the shoulder. Let, let's do maybe the hip or some other major area that you see clinically. Yeah, for sure. Uh well, okay. So if we're saying hip, why not just jump down to ankle? And yeah. because the ankle is the hip, you know, if you have issues in the ankle, then that's gonna manifest themselves upstream into the hip and mm -hmm. vice versa. Um, you know, so I'm kind of doing that to be clever, but also, you know, to prove a point, but it, there's also a lot of great exercises that a lot of people have adhesions and, um, stiffness in and around the ankles. Cause we don't go through a regular full range of plantar and dorsiflexion in like the modern world. You know, we're kind of stuck at around 90 degrees. And if you're stuck in that position, um, things begin to freeze over you know muscles right. everything stiffens up and it develops and because your body just adapts to its container whatever position you put yourself into your body will adapt to that position it's very amazing it's, it's beautiful um you know so something that people can play with if you do feel like you know hey i'm trying to do this deep squat stuff i see on the internet it's important it's like valuable to be able to do a malasana or like a third world squat or whatever you want to call it um you know, so, but when I do that, I always kind of fall backwards. I don't get it. So you probably, your ankles aren't going through deep dorsiflexion. And you know, so something that you can do is that same banded distraction or flossing type technique that we were referring to before, uh, you can wrap the band instead of your shoulder. Now put it around your ankle and step yourself forward into like a runner's lunge type position. Yeah. Uh, and then keep that back heel that the band is wrapped around, uh, keep that back heel down flat against the ground and push yourself forward into a lunge mm -hmm. position. And then you're going to have that you're resistance. stacking, you're yeah. stacking variables. So we're doing the resistance thing mm -hmm. from the, the stretch, but now we're also doing the, uh, banded distraction or flossing that joint out by, by wrapping around the right around the, like kind of like the apex of the curve there, the joint. Um, so we're, we're also doing myofascial release, you know, so we're starting to get those tissue layers to slide a little bit because of the pressure yeah. of the band on the ankle. Yeah. And then you can incorporate another principle in the chapter three in the book. We break down all the fundamental principles and practices of people for like driving your body more effectively from a self-care perspective. And one of the, the, one of the, the principles that everybody can use right now is called uh, contract, relax or PNF proprioceptive neuromuscular facilitation. You know, so taking yourself while you're in that lunge, you use that as the example, press that mm -hmm. back foot down on the ground. So press those toes. Like you're trying to dig those toes down to the ground. Yeah. yeah. It's going to be activating the, you know, the calves, gastrocnemius, all these, all yeah. stuff. Um, and then hold that for about five seconds, press, 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 press. Yeah. And then bah, relax and you'll find yourself like magic, go into a deeper stretch on that angle. Yeah. You know, so simple principles like that.